guys, this is the epic video of the week. We have the latest plated mini dinos from Captive Collection. They are all shiny and metallic. We have one of the rarest set right here, okay, to unbox and review. We also have the latest Everton calendar that actually contains plenty of new minis. Are you guys ready for this epic video? Let's go! Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we will have at least 30 different new mini figures to add to our collection. We also have this set right here, which took me a long, long time to find it, okay? So today's video is gonna be long and epic. Are you guys ready? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. All right, guys, are you ready? I haven't been so excited about new products for quite some time, okay? Check this out. I've actually opened one egg to see how they look like, and we've got the Giganotosaurus. This is a metallic black Giga. This is so cool. You know, you guys know I love metallic figures, and we finally got one, and it comes with this a holo card. Wow, plated dinos. It looks really cool. It comes with, I think, 15 different species. Yep, for us to collect. Spinosaurus and Therizinosaurus are supposedly the rarest one. Hopefully, we'll be able to get every single one of them. So let's begin by opening one of these eggs right here. Okay, all right, let's, let me just cut this open because I prefer cutting it open because it's much faster. I haven't opened the blue slime, so I'll let you see, I'll let you guys know how they actually look like, okay? Let's have a look. So this is a pack of blue slime. Let's open this. Hopefully it is not too sticky. Okay, this is like the metallic blue slime, so it's not too bad. But I don't want to play with it too much, otherwise my hands will be extremely sticky. All right, pop and lock plated dino. Let's open this. Very excited about this. Oh my goodness. So hard to open. Got it. We've got the same leaflet right here. Just put this aside. We've got a card right here. I want it to be a surprise. Let's get like piece by piece out and make a guess. That's not too difficult. That's a Giganotosaurus. Oh, they can actually... I mean, they actually painted over the green Giganotosaurus. You can see this part is actually green in color. So we've got the same one again. Not the best start to the video, okay? But it's still pretty cool to have two Gigars. Just pop it right in. There you go. Metallic black Giganotosaurus again. So we have two of them. I'm just gonna put all the cuts on one side together, okay? I think we should open up another one. Let's open up another one before we take a look at this ultimate rare set. Yep, took me a long time to find it. I actually got it from Japan through a friend. It was very, very hard to locate this. Extremely hard. One of the rarest set of all time. Okay, so let's get this out. I'm gonna be putting all my slime into a container. I'm gonna give it to my kids who will be enjoying the slime later today. All right, we've got a green one. Oh, did we just get the ultra rare? What is this? Rare, okay, not ultra rare, just rare. I think we've got it. Spinosaurus, oh my goodness, this is cool. It is like so shiny and at the same time you can see like a rainbow effect where there are plenty of different colors. Oh my goodness, this is so so cool. Alright, let's have a look at the card. Does it what does it say? It's basically just an image of the Spinosaurus. Beautiful one. I'm not too sure whether this is actually to celebrate the second season of Chaos Theory, I'm not exactly sure because I know Chaos Theory second season is coming up um, like in October if I'm not wrong. Okay, next, let's have a look at this set right here guys. This is the Epic Attack set, the elusive set that hasn't been released throughout the world. Only certain countries have this and I know that it is actually extremely limited in supply. Okay, but I'm still going to unbox it 
a lot of people are actually keeping it in its packaging but not for me i'm not keeping these figures for value i am keeping it personally for my enjoyment as well for as well as for you guys to take a look okay so let's get these two figures out they are really beautiful epic attack figures we can do like an epic attack full collection video really soon okay so check this out it comes with two buttons right here i mean yep very nice just gonna put this aside first can we just let's put it right here okay these two figures are huge oh where's the tail the tail is right behind so yep if you ever get your hands on this package please don't forget to remove the tail okay all right this part requires a bit of skill to remove all right let me get the tail out okay let's pop it right in okay that's a new roaring sound which i've never heard of it i've actually brought two young t-rex to show you guys okay in case that you guys do not know the young t-rex was found in one of the 1990s jurassic park movie the young t-rex was injured okay and we have two previous young t-rex from mattel okay they act like savage strike figures you can move the tail the jaw will move along as well they are two different figures both are in green and right now we have this one it's actually way bigger and it looks fantastic okay check this out guys there'll be lights coming out when i press this button are you guys ready let's go okay that's sound number one listen to it closely sound number two sound number three that's sound number one again beautiful young t-rex oh my goodness the eyes are looking adorable let's move the jaw down you can move it up and down the arms can be rotated as well the legs can be rotated let's pull this up and yep you can scan this into your jurassic world play app which you can download from the app store this figure is really rare so you definitely want to scan it and add it to your collection gorgeous figure really really gorgeous really really happy to be adding this to my collection i've been searching high and low for this but i finally found someone who can help me purchase this from japan and here it's the pachycephalosaurus it definitely looks like one of the pachycephalosaurus from the previous series so let me just take this out have a look at this oh my goodness baronix apologies all right let's have a look so in terms of the size this is definitely chunkier it's wider when it comes to its body it's also taller i think in terms of the height it's slightly i mean it's more or less the same okay let's have a look at the lights you can see three claws marks right over there probably inflicted by indominus rex i'm not too sure and you can see this is a beautiful figure the head is able to rotate the arms can be rotated as well the hind legs can be moved the tail can be rotated but i don't think you want to do that so this is a beautiful figure this color variation looks more like the very first pachycephalosaurus figure from mattel and here is the code for you to scan gorgeous figure let's put this one right over here okay let's open two of two more of this eggs before we take a look at the advent calendar which has like over 24 surprises okay so it's, it's actually for you to open on december 1st all the way to december 24th okay let's open one of this hopefully we are able to get the figure that we are missing okay we've got the ultra rare okay not ultra rare we got a rare spinosaurus and now we need to get the rare fairy xenosaurus guys are you ready let's go let's go okay let's open this okay let's take one of the smaller part out 
Let me just try to find its tail or maybe the head. Let's see, let's see, let's see if we are able to do that. No, this is the body. Okay. What is this? Ah, oh, we got a head. A Atrociraptor. Is it a Atrociraptor or a Velociraptor? Let's have a look. I think it should be the Atrociraptor, which is only one star. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. At least it's a figure that we don't have. And here's the beautiful hologram card. I love it. I love it. This is beautiful. Very, very gorgeous. Let's pop it right in. Alright, it is chrome. Yes, I think this is a chrome figure. Really gorgeous. This plated dinos are just awesome. Every single figure is like a hit. Yeah, because previously for you in order for you to get a plated in order for you to get a metallic figure, it has to be one of the rarer ones. So this one it's cool. Every single one of them, it's a metallic figure, which is totally awesome. You guys know how much I love these metallic figures. And, and I'll tell you what, tomorrow I'll be reorganizing my entire mini shelf number two. I'm going to be putting all the captive collection figures together. I'm going to be organizing them according to different breeds. Okay, next one, let's see. Okay, let's try to get a small piece out. Yes, I managed to find a small piece. It's a green one. Could it be Anidus Spinosaurus? I don't think so. This is a curly tail. A very, very curly tail, which I have no idea what it is. And what is this? Oh, it's a Brachiosaurus, guys. The only sauropod in the collection. Let's see, let's see. Let me put this aside. Yes, Brachiosaurus, guys. Beautiful. Yes, thankfully, we've got a different one. Otherwise, I'll be upset. Let's pop in the tail. Okay. Oops, that's not the tail. That's the head. <laughs> Let's pop it right in. Gorgeous stuff. Okay, and now... Oops. It's kind of like tight. Yep, super tight. There you go. Brachiosaurus, the arm lizard. Okay, for the Brachiosaurus, I thought, you know, maybe we should take a look at one figure. I brought this one. For the Spinosaurus, I have brought this one. The Epic Attack Spinosaurus. But we can take a look at this later on because I know that you guys want to see the Advent Calendar right now. So let's do this. This is the Advent Calendar. A gorgeous one. Really, really gorgeous. 24 days of fun. If you flip it over, you'll be able to find Becker Spinex, guys. Becker Spinex, you'll also be able to find Majungasaurus. So that is an awesome, awesome um, figure. I'm gonna rip this open. Alright. Let's make a guess. Let's make a guess of where the Becker Spinex is hidden, guys. That is the one that I really want. I think it's gonna be one of the bigger ones. Shall we open this? But does it come with fences again? Oh my goodness, it comes with fences again. I'm not, not a huge fan of fences, to be honest with you. So this one is definitely the fence. I'm gonna open this one. This one, there's a high chance that it is a Becker's Minex. Oh my goodness, it's not, guys. This is not. This is the fence that I've been talking about. Yeah, not a huge fan of this fences. Yep, you can actually place it right here to create like an enclosure for the minifigures. Okay, let's open number 13. 13 is one of my favorite numbers. Okay, Baryonyx right over here. Okay, I think we've got this figure. It's similar to the previous one, but we have to check. I'm not exactly sure, but we have to check. Okay, let's open two more. How about this one right here? Okay, I'm gonna open 24. 24. Oh, we've got a T-Rex. 
But is it a new T-Rex? Yes, it is a new T-Rex, guys. It seems to be bigger. It seems to be bigger in size. Nice, that's very nice. Let's open this. Another one. Yes, we've got it, guys. The Becker Spinex that we are looking for. Awesome stuff. Becker Spinex minifigure. Our first one, this is the first and the only Becker Spinex minifigure out there. Very cool. And it looks exactly like this one. I mean, maybe some difference in the colors. But awesome stuff. Really, really awesome stuff. All right, let's open a few more of this captive plated dino eggs right here. Okay, just for your information, I purchased all of these eggs on my own. None of this are sponsored. Okay, let's open this. Let's have a look. Okay, too bad we have already seen it. It is another Atrociraptor. Not the best one, not the one that we are hoping to get. Yep, not the best one. Just gonna pop it right in. But it's, to be honest, it's looking awesome. I love this chrome effect figures. Very, very beautiful. There's one issue with these figures is that they can't really stand very well sometimes. Okay, let's open a few more. Hopefully we're able to get the entire set. Let's, let's try our best to complete the entire set. I'm gonna be opening 15 today. I still have a few more. Um, I still have like five, five of them. So hopefully we, can ab we are able to complete the set. If not, I will have to purchase even more. Let's try and get a small piece out. Okay, it feels to be a different figure. Let's get this piece out. Very obvious, it is a Pyro Raptor, guys. The Fire Teeth. All right, let's have a look. Beautiful card. It's basically the Pyro Raptor screeching. That is the iconic scene from Jurassic World Dominion. Beautiful holo card. And this one definitely looks very similar to um, one of the previous metallic Pyroraptor, that's for sure, which was also painted in red. So it's more or less the same, I would say. So it's not so much of a surprise because the colors is, is really more or less the same. And it's very, very difficult to actually pop them right in, if you can see. Yeah, it's pretty tight. So you have to use plenty of force and you can see this, the head doesn't really goes, goes in as well. This is kind of um, a let down, I would say. All right, let's open more. For the Pyro Raptor, let's keep things more interesting. For the Pyro Raptor, this is the figure that I've brought. The Epic Attack Pyro Raptor. How many of you guys actually has this figure? Because apparently, the Epic Attack figures are actually pretty rare as well. It's not easy to find them, okay? It's not easy to find them, to be honest. Okay, um... Previously, I've shown you guys the Atrociraptor. So I have brought one of the latest one. This is actually from Chaos Theory. It's a beautiful figure. It seems to be a Atrociraptor Tiger based on its stripes. Definitely looks like a Atrociraptor Tiger to me but the colors are quite different from the original one, that's for sure. And for the Spinosaurus, haha, <laughs> yes, let's take a look at this one. The Epic Attack Spinosaurus, which is apparently not released in many countries as well, but I'm fortunate to be able to get one of this. I think it's really, really gorgeous. You can tap on this. Springs right open, and I love how the neural spine bones actually light up. It also comes with the button right here. Awesome stuff. You can move the arms, both of the arms. Spinosaurus, the spine lizard, gorgeous figure. Okay, now let's change things up. 
let's open one of these windows. Let's go for December. How about December 20 years right here? A minifigure. Oh, this is nice. This is a Ceratosaurus, a green version. The previous one was actually red and black, which is the very common color combination for a Ceratosaurus. Let's open number one. Where is number one actually? Right here. Okay, so this is December 1st. You're supposed to open this on December 1st. So get your advent calendar and open it day by day. I think it's going to be fun. But for me, there's no way we can actually open this day by day because we have to take a look at every single figure like immediately. Okay, so, so what do we have right here? We have an Ankylosaurus which looks the same as the previous one. And it also seems like we have a human figure to go along with Brumpy, which I think should be banned because this is actually from Chaos Theory. And this definitely looks like Ben. Yep, it is banned for sure. Very cool. Let's open maybe another one. How about December 2nd? The numbers are like jumble up all over the place. Okay, we've got a green Atrociraptor, this is a new color variation and seems like they have actually used a material which is slightly more firm, more stable, it's not so soft. Let's open another one, how about December 8? We have the Gallimimers. The Gallimimers looks very similar to the previous Gallimimers, definitely. But I'm not too sure whether the colors are exactly the same. I would have to check. Let's open 11. Oh, very nice. So I like the fact that every single figure has a new color scheme. Otherwise, I mean, yep, at least they have given it a different color. This is a nice Stegosaurus, that's for sure. Very cool, I like it. Number 10, Mosasaurus. I love the Mosasaurus and I think they have given it a different color right here. This is good because the previous Mosasaurus doesn't have such a nice, vibrant, light tone of blue. So this is definitely a new color variation. Awesome. At least every single figure is different colored, which is good, which is good. That is a relief. Okay, so let's open another one. We're gonna be opening all of them. I'm gonna put my knife aside. I don't like to show off my box cutter to you guys because there are like sometimes there are like kids who are watching my videos and I don't want you to use a box cutter on your own. If you use a box cutter, if you have to get our parents to help you, and let's see. Okay, this the head actually feels pretty big. It looks like a Giganotosaurus again. Oh my goodness. We are getting way too many Gigars, guys. This is not a good sign. We will not be able to complete the set today, definitely, because there are 12 to collect, and we have already so many repeats. We have like three repeats so far. So we possibly have like zero chances for repeats. Yep. So Giganotosaurus again. We have three of them. Not the best art. I mean, not a very good, not very good progress, but hopefully we are able to get a different species this time. Let's try our best. Come on guys, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. I'm putting all my slime right here. I'll be opening all of them and putting them into a container later. All right, let's open this. Hopefully it's a different one. Um, it feels different. No! <laughs> oh, no! We've got the same one again. Pyroraptor. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's not the best one. And it has the same issue. You're not able to pop and lock it. Okay, I want to check 
if there is like a code on this X right here, guys, I need to check. Seems like they are all the same. It used to have a different code. Yeah, they are all the same right now. So previously, you were able to see like which egg is which. But right now, they are all exactly the same. So they're not able to tell which is which right now, which is kind of sad. Okay, this one feels huge. It feels different. It really feels different. So it might be different. It might be different. Come on guys, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Gonna get one small piece out. What color is it? Oh yes! Finally, we've got a different color. This is a golden tail. If I remember correctly, the golden tail belongs to a Dimetrodon. Yes! <laughs> yes, you are pretty good, Dan. You are pretty good. Oh, wow. I love this. This one looks, looks like a good one. But it is only one star as well. Okay? It's only one star. So let's pop it right in. There you go. Dimetrodon. Beautiful stuff. Right. Let's open another one. I see something different. It could be different. Let's get the tail out. Green. Green tail. Green tail could be Dilophosaurus. It could be Spinosaurus. Not exactly sure. Oh, it has a plastic inside. So it's a different one. It's a different one, yes. It's a fairy Zinosaurus, guys. We've got the other rare one, the three star. Awesome. This is cool, this is cool. Wow, you can see it is not just metallic green. If you take a look at, at it from different angles, you're actually able to see, you know, different colors. Very beautiful. Fairy Zinosaurus. Rare figure. Beautiful holo card right here. Okay. This is the one that we are hoping to get. And just now we have opened the Fairy Zinosaurus as well as the Dimetrodon. Yes, I have definitely prepared the figure, so don't worry, okay? So I've actually brought this one. One of the Dimetrodons. This is quite a nice set. I mean, this is quite a nice figure. The Metrodon. It's a prehistoric Sinusite, just in case that you guys have forgotten. And we've got our Slash and Noisy Fairies and Dinosaurs. The noisiest figure in my entire collection. Beautiful Fairies and Dinosaurs. You're able to move its body. It's a pretty cool figure. Pretty cool figure. Fairies and Dinosaurs, as you guys know, is known as the Scythe Lizard. Okay, we have yet to get the T-Rex. Come on, it's time for us to get this T-Rex. This T-Rex right here doesn't look to be metallic. It looks it looks to be stone color. I'm not too sure. Let's try and find out. Okay, time for us to open more windows. How about we open the first window right here on the left-hand side, which is window number six. We've got a Pteranodon, which looks very similar to the previous Pteranodon. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it is. How about here? A Troceraptor Ghost. We definitely have this figure before. It looks more or less the same. And let's open. Okay, let's open one of these big ones again. Big ones below. Is this... 
Yep, it is. It is. The fences. I mean, it's pretty cool. You can actually form like um, it's a different color. The previous one was like white in color, which is not so nice. This one is definitely nicer in color. It looks so much more. It looks sleeker. It looks more realistic as well. The previous one was just white in color. Let's open this. Yeah, more cages. More cages. Not keen with these cages, to be honest. All right, let's open number seven. Oh, we've got a Sino Ceratops. I can't remember whether this is like a new color variant. It could be, it could be. Let's open another one. Kentrosaurus, this is 100% a new color variant because the previous one was actually green in color. I can remember it very, very clearly. Okay, let's open one more before we hit back to the eggs. Oh, this is nice, guys. This is gorgeous. This is a new Allosaurus. The color is definitely different because the previous one was bright blue. This one is a more realistic, earthy tone blue, like a dark navy blue. Oh, the Pseudoceratops. Beautiful as well. I think the previous one was also different in color. So this Advent Calendar seems to be pretty good because every figure is actually different. Oh yes, finally we found you. Majingasaurus guys, Majingasaurus. Did we bring a Majingasaurus? Oh my goodness, did we not? Did I not bring a Majingasaurus? Yes, I've totally forgotten about the Majingasaurus. It's fine, it's fine. We still have plenty of cool figures to look at. Let's open another one. Let's see how many different species we will be able to get. Hopefully, we get another one, another different one. Please, please. Blue slime. The blue slime are just beautiful. Beautiful blue slime. Oh, we've got... Wait a minute. Previously, we've got... um. Did we get a Dilophosaurus? I think we did. No, we've got the Therizinosaurus, so yep, this is a different one. Thankfully, thank goodness, thank goodness, we got a different one. I was like, you know, so confused because there are way too many metallic green figures. This one goes in pretty well, the Lophosaurus. Gorgeous, let's have a look. Beautiful, beautiful the Lophosaurus. Yes, I have remembered. <laughs> I've remembered to bring a Dilophosaurus right here. This one, it's from the Chaos Theory series as well. I love this figure because if you move the tail upwards, it basically like scratch with the frills wide open. <laughs> yep, sorry if I frightened you. Is there like a Sticky Moloch? Yes, guys, we definitely need to get Sticky Moloch because I have one Sticky right here. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay. Are there more windows to open? Perhaps there might be one or two more. Okay, there's still window number 15. Oh, that is nice. Beautiful. So we've got two of this. Awesome. Two Majingasaurus. Gorgeous stuff. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. And now, number 22. A new Atrociraptor Tiger. This is a quite a new, I mean, this is quite an impressive color scheme. Yep, this is definitely new. New in terms of the color scheme. I like it, I like it. Are we all done? Wait a minute, there's still two more. Wow, there's actually quite a lot, okay? So let's open this. Another Atrociraptor. This one is definitely different. It has patterns on top of the head, which I've never seen before. That's beautiful. And we got Sticky Moloch. Yeah, Sticky Moloch. Sticky Moloch. I can put a knife aside. Uh, it just makes me uncomfortable. And here you go. 
Okay, at least we don't have that, but at least we have this one. Okay, so this is the Sticky Moloch from Chaos Theory. It has a bandage right here. You can actually remove it quite easily. Beautiful one. It doesn't have any mechanism because this is more like an attack pack, kind of like danger pack kind of um, figures. Okay, so now let's open another one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Right. Hopefully we get a different one, please. Please, no more Giganotosaurus. I beg you, please. Brachiosaurus. <laughs> ah, not the best, not the best. It's okay, it's okay. Modern day problems, modern day problems. We can definitely complete the set. No worries. Let's not give up, we still have like two more two more eggs behind and we've got five more um, Wait a minute Why doesn't it feed? I think that- oh this is the head, come on Dan, come on Brachiosaurus, yep, yep, yep Plated dinos Awesome Okay, go put this one right here We have two more to open we can do this. Come on, let's do this. We can definitely do this, guys. We can definitely do this. Let's not give up. I just won one different one. I don't mind getting T-Rex, Sticky Moloch, Baryonyx. There's so many we're still missing. We are also missing the Mosasaurus. The one that I really want is the Mosasaurus and the T-Rex. Come on, we can do this. We have two more. Let's let's get them. Let's get them. And not a green one. Come on, guys. Green one. There's no chance. There's absolutely no chance we can get one that we don't have. There is an Osaurus. Okay, at least we've got a rare one. At least we got a rare one. That's not too bad. Yep. Green Therizinosaurus. Yep, this has been so much fun. Definitely very fun. And we'll have to look at this one. I've actually prepared my Mosasaurus and my Baryonyx right here. But we didn't get a chance to actually see them. Let's open this. can do this man please do not give me another green one you're giving me a golden one Dimetrodon it's a nice one it's a beautiful one but it's not the one that we are hoping to get shall I open another I have five more up there guys I have five more should I open two more? Okay, let's open. Let me just get... Okay, maybe let's just open one more. Let's open one more. I want to complete the set so badly. No! <laughs> no! Last one. I'm gonna open the last one. The last one. The last one, guys. This is sad. This is very sad. So, apparently, Giganotosaurus is the most common one. Okay, is there a different code? No, unfortunately not. All the codes are the same. Otherwise, we'll be able to 
you know, get the ones that we really want, but all of them are the same. What about the barcode? Even the barcodes are the same as well. So there's really no chance for us to even find like um you know to identify it i'm trying to find various ways to look at the number but nope absolutely not okay this time i'm gonna open by the traditional way just gonna tear it down in the middle like this Hopefully, we get a different one, guys. Come on, pray for me. Pray for me. Pop and lock plated dino. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Thanks for watching this, guys. <laughs> but I'm still going to show you guys the Baryonyx right here. Beautiful, epic attack, Baryonyx the heavy claw i wanted to bring this and show you you know when we managed to get the mini baryonyx figure and one of the best mosasaurus figure ocean protector beautiful one giganotosaurus we've got plenty of them we've got plenty of them i've brought this one which i think is currently the best giganotosaurus figure in the entire Jurassic World line. What do you guys think? All right, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I think I had a lot of fun. I had great fun. You can see the thrash bean is full of, um, you know, the packaging and stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop me a comment and I'll reply to you, that's for sure. If you guys want to get your chonky, please do so. And if you guys want to get a personalized video from me, you can go on the, to the About Arts tab. Just click on the link. You can make an order for a personalized video just for yourself, okay? Thanks for watching this. I am Dan and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.